Hey everybody, Asher here with a quick video guide today for how to unlock the new Hearthstone card back. Liadrin, which I hope I pronounced correctly, it's a paladin card back, and you don't have to pay a dime for it. What you do have to do is install World of Warcraft, which as you can see here, I am an altaholic. I've played World of Warcraft since the beginning. I obviously have my account inactive right now, but I've leveled up plenty of characters, so I have, let's just call it good experience, to at least give you some quick insight for the best way to get to level 20 as fast as possible. Now I will say with the caveat that my experience is primarily Horde side, so while there may be a few more efficient leveling paths on Alliance, we're going to go Horde here. But when you're set to make your character, the very first thing, the absolute very first thing that you should do is hit the change realm button. You're going to be funneled into a realm when you create a new account that is for new players, and that's where everyone is going to go, and if you've seen pictures online on the Hearthstone Reddit, on the WoW Reddit, for people queuing up division style to fight quest mobs, you can avoid all that completely by picking any of these other servers, and there are plenty of other servers to choose from. Next thing is that I would suggest when you create a character, there's a few classes you want to uh, keep in mind here, and you can choose almost whatever race and class combination you want to here. We're actually going to pick uh, Undead, and my suggestion personally would be Undead Hunter. If only because pet classes tend to survive very well, hunters can clear things very quickly. Other classes that do very well in the uh, level 1 to 20 range, Mage, Priest, and to a lesser extent, Warrior. I wouldn't recommend Monk, if only because it puts you on the Wandering Isle. And that quest chain, or the quest there, while interesting, they take more time. And my goal with leveling is always to get through it as fast as possible. Also, do not select Death Knight. You have to be level 20. You can't start from 55, which is where Death Knights start. Next tip. Let's say you have a character that is already leveled, because a lot of people have played World of Warcraft in some way, shape, or form. You don't have to make a character from scratch. It just needs to ding level 20. That's actually exactly what I did. I picked a level 18 character that I had previously Took it up to 20, and there we go. That wasn't the actual character, but same idea here. So good old plot hole, the paladin here that I haven't played since the Burning Crusade days. Now this is a good time to remind you again that my account's inactive. All you have to do is install World of Warcraft. You don't actually have to pay for an account or anything. World of Warcraft is free until level 20. That said, if you do have an old account or anything, another good tip, in case you haven't played in a really long time, is that all of your heirlooms are now actually put into this handy dandy heirloom menu. So one thing you can do if you have them available to you, click, 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 and we go from having my weirdo scrub uh, leveling gear from not so long ago, and I just created pretty much a full set almost of, uh, and I'm gonna even make one of the intelligence cloaks. Well, wait, I have a gar golden scar, Blah. I have the right kind of cloak, and all we do here, Pardon my little flub of language here. Look at this. We just switched around and got a lot of really good heirloom gear that we already had available from other characters that maybe I hadn't played in a while, except I didn't equip it all for some reason. There we go. Nice thing about the heirloom gear, if you have it, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. That's 40% extra experience. Cloak gives extra 5%. Weapon makes things die in a hurry. All right, so as I said before, my recommendation is to start off undead and you'll start off in an area called death now so we'll get you about level one through five level one through six and then what you want to do is to head over you'll get some quests that can be done in soul and steam farm and you'll get some quests along the way but then the big thing is to go to brill brill is very much your central quest hub it'll send you up to this area the accident farms it'll send you up to up here as well there's some stuff with the scarlet crusade if it looks like there's some overcrowding where you have to skip some mobs, you can skip some of the Scarlet Crusade stuff. But the nice thing about, and you're going to hear this again in a little bit, but the nice thing about Tears Fall Glades and Death Now, both of them do not have a lot of backtracking, and the zones are pretty compact. They're pretty easy to walk through. As so we're going to start here, and then just pretty much the nice thing about wild questing is that you pretty much just got to follow where the arrows point you. You gotta follow the quest tracker. It's all in the game. It, I don't wanna say wild plays itself, but if you're trying to level fast, just go where it leads you. Now, as I said previously, my first recommendation 
is to go to start Undead. You'll start in Tears Fall Glades. But the second place you can go to is possibly Silver Pine Forest, which is a level 10 to 20 zone. I would not recommend that if you're trying to level as fast as possible. First off, because that's where other people will go if you're on a server that has people trying to get the card back. But more importantly, there is another zone that's worth your attention, even though it is from the Burning Crusade. It's still one of the most efficient leveling zones in the game, and that's Ghostlands. The reason that Ghostlands is a good leveling zone, at least in my opinion, is because it has good uh, enemy density or mob density. It has a centralized town location. And then, pretty much as you can see here from just my quest map, and keep in mind, this is a character that I haven't touched in years, years actually. Uh, pretty much, you start here, there's quests that go up here in the top right, Sun Crown Village, Dawn Star Spike, more quests over there. Then you can get even more quests that will send you down to Sanctum of the Sun. Those will send you even more quests that will send you over to the West Coast. The key point is that you go here, you do quest, you come back, there's very little backtracking. You do quest over here, they're self-contained, they come back. You do quest over here, they come back. There's another quest hub around this area as well, you come back. There's a raid dungeon over here you don't have to worry about. And then by the time you get to around level 15, the sort of last step for there, level 15, level 16 even, is that you want to hit the I button here. And that will open up your dungeons and raids. Now, Dungeon Finder is available at level 15 on this. So I can't show it as well here. But Dungeon Finder, you just want to use this. And you'll find pre-made groups that will automatically, while you're walking around leveling, it doesn't usually, you want to do it while just trying to do other quests or anything there. But this will take you the rest of the way very fast. I would highly recommend uh, some place like Wailing Caverns can get you pretty far. It takes a little bit of time, but you get a lot of experience. But... Still, that's pretty much it. It doesn't take too much to get level 20, but I know some people like having just some information to kind of get them started. So to recap, change your server to a non-new player server. Pick Undead. Start in Tears Fall Glades, preferably as a hunter or a mage, or whatever have you. Go to Ghostlands once you hit level, you'll hit. You'll be around level 11 or level 12 by the time you're done in Tears Fall Glades. Uh, do Ghostlands until about level 15 or 16, then run dungeons, and then you're level 20. Now granted, this is for leveling as fast as possible. You're welcome to pick any class, do anything you want. Take your time. If this is your first time playing World of Warcraft, stop Smell the Roses. Even though I'm not playing it right now and I don't have a su subscription right now, I've put a lot of good time and I've had a lot of good times with the game. Despite all the people talking about WoW is dead, it's not dead at all. There's just... More to see and do in the time to come. But that's it for now. This is Asher, Altaholic, that hopefully has given you some insightful information that maybe will be helpful. Good luck getting your hero portrait. This is Asher. I'll see you around.